Hello everyone and welcome back to Vintage Story. I'm still a greedy crow and well we're sitting here atop our base and I've done a little bit of work. As you can see, a little bit of farm work, I've removed the tree and I did a little bit of clay forming. Uh, the farm work just has uh, red currants on one side and black currants on the other as well as I think I planted a few more seeds that I had come across while I was going out and you know just gathering some things. Oh, some dry grass that I missed. Um, cut down that, uh, and I did a little bit of clay forming. Also, our stuff seems to have finished firing. That's nice. Um, one, two, three, four. Vundavar. Uh, we'll go ahead and put our cooking pot in there. Crock can sit right there, as well as the crucible. And our bowl can go there. In fact, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of cooking immediately and do a turnip onion stew. This will give me two servings of it. Um, not the greatest amount of uh, satiation, though I could add... Hmm, is that flax isn't going to work out, is it? Um, can I do that? Yeah, there we go. That'll give me... That'll give me servings of rye porridge with mashed turnips and onions. That's what we want. Um, give me my fire starter. Just go ahead and use it up. Because I haven't made another torch and I'm just refusing to take the other torch out of the torch holder. Any second now. We can do this. Come on. Uh, fire starting. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Alakazam, Alakaba. I cast fireball. Hey. Mmm, porridge. Love that, and we'll carry the other serving around with us. Also, go ahead and move that back. Ooh, uh, I have, um, I have extra grain. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, three servings of, uh, rice spelt. Porridge will be uh, lovely. Um, go ahead and put away this other grain. And ah, those can go away. As well as that. I will keep the pear dough on us. For now. Um, do I have a... I do not. Ah. I have enough to make a... Um, an extra reed chest. Which means I can set it down. Pick it up. And put it on my back. Giving us eight additional slots to carry around. Um, also, I made these things. Um, oof, where is that? Uh, here we go. Yeah, I did that clay forming, so I had extra uh, stuff to, to fire. In here is a pickaxe mold. In here is a hammer mold. Put some peat in. Got an anvil mold, and I've got uh, two raw ingot molds. All need, all in need of firing. Let's um take that. How long is that? Not gonna be fresh for three servings of that. It is doesn't tell me how long it's gonna be fresh for. Hmm. I'll put that there. I guess I'll take the crock. And I will put that in the crock, and that will serve it for for a little while. And eventually, I'll uh, I'll cook up more. But the crock will keep it better a little longer. Um, I went in there to grab the fire tool. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Being leery about those wolves. There you go, you stinking thing. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna transition to using a, uh... A torch. Actually gonna make a few torches. Just three. I don't want to carry a ton of them around. Um... Three. Making this again. Come on. That first one lit up super quick. There we go, and this 
Hallelujah. Got three torches. I won't need to use that, hopefully, ever again. Kind of stuck in here. And the sun is going down, actually. Wait, is it? What time is it? It is, uh, ah, 1720, yes. The sun is, in fact, going down. Crops are not going to be ready for a while. And I dug a little more of this out. Ooh, a stick. Dug a little more of this out. Uh, so I can start using this as storage down here. I can't break these till I get a pickaxe. Or that. I can break a few more of these things, but... Honestly, I think I'll leave it as is for now. Um, and eventually... Uh, possibly, eventually. Taking this, bringing it over, and just making a large L-shaped style house? Mm, eh, probably not. I'll build my own custom house. Uh, I do want the uh, the granite cobble versus the peridot. Uh, but like I said, let's grab... Let's go ahead and gather some of these. Yeah, these guys. Uh, I do want to mark the location that they're at. So. If I see these dirt columns. Ow. Went one too high. See those dirt columns. I know I'm in. Uh, I'm in an area of mature rye. Hey. Nice. I hear that wolf. I don't like that. Uh, but like I was saying, if you see these, I know I'm in the area where that copper was. And I'll try and get them placed central to the little nuggets on the ground. So hopefully that's in the, the rough area of where I need to dig down to find the actual copper. But those couple little ones already gave me 12. Which is just actually freaking great. Um, when we're talking about that, so... I'm going to go around, uh, look for more copper, look for more, um, or pick up the things. And see if I can't find anything of interest. Other than that, I'm going to need to set myself to, uh, to ripping out some, some ruins somewhere else. I think that's sandstone down there, which I would build out of. There's also more ruins up here I'll go check out. Yeah. Well, but it is dark. Uh, I guess I'll head towards the treasure hunter trader, pick up copper, look for copper, and sleep the night in his place. Ah, early morning it is. And there's a bear that was back over here. I was gathering up stuff, and, um, yeah, I don't want to deal with that. So, we're going to head to the ruins that are up this way. Also looking for more copper. Found a little more in there. I'm up to 28 pieces, which is nice. Uh, I think I need 40. It's 20 per. Um, also, I had to eat my uh, meal, so make sure I grab a few bits and bobs. Try not to eat the, the grains, because if I cook them, they go way further than they, they do just, you know, eating the grains raw. So, yeah, try not trying to have currants and things as I, as I travel about. All right, the area with the ruins, the ruined area. Um, there was just that little piece. There should be more over here. Oh, I guess not. I mean, there are a few here, but uh, this kind of shaping was just this sandstone gravel in the area, which is honestly a bit disappointing. Um, does this go down like any? healthy amount or is it literally just hmm whatever all right so I guess that doesn't go anymore uh is there anything under this I came all this way for ruins oh whoops oh hey 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 take the bony soil and consolation prize I guess but uh there's a vessel, a seed vessel. All right, what do we get? We get, uh, turnips. Oh, I already had a quite healthy number of those. Mm, there's stuff here, so maybe digging down here? Oh, 
another vessel. A farming vessel this go round. Giving us an additional hand basket, which if we take a knife to the hand basket, we get some of the reeds back that are used to make it. And I got feathers. Interesting. Also, did I get flax fibers out of that? I think I did. Which is, you know, nice. A little unexpected, but nice. I guess not to be unexpected. Uh, it was a farming vessel, and you farm flax, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um... Hmm. I... Also, I now have enough reeds again to make a... Extra reed basket for the house. Should I, like, a bit of extra storage? I think those things are still firing. They'll be firing till about midday. Ooh, limestone. Oh, we need limestone. Oh, so there's limestone in this area. Is it this? This is lighter. Nope, that's granite. Oh, that was granite, gravel, and granite. Oh, but there'll be limestone in this area if there's limestone stand. Mm -hmm. Limestone rocks. Loose flint. God dang it. But uh, that's, that's, that's a very good sign. Uh, once we get to processing hides and things to make leather, that will be indispensable. Um, speaking of hides and things to make leather, I should probably start gearing up to do proper hunting. Uh, maybe make a, a bow. Let's see. So, to make a bow, I need a... What if I just do a simple bow? Ah, sticks and flax twine, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is flax in a square. Yeah, it is in a square like that. I can make two at the moment. Uh, I have more flax at home. I might be able to make three and get a get a simple bow. They're not very, very good, but with it... Uh, I can actually, you know, do proper range hunting versus just throwing spears. And I'd rather use even just the bad bow because arrows will stack versus uh, other arrows won't. So I just need to nap flint arrowheads and put them on sticks. Again, not accurate, not the strongest, but they will stack and it's way easier on my inventory for carrying about. So, i I much rather go that route. Also, this looks like it opens up to a large, like, plains area. Well, relatively speaking, large. Uh, hmm. I'd like to find more ruins. I want to do spelunking. Ah, oh, God, I want to do so much. But I'm just not set up to do it yet. Um, which is probably, you know, the... The thing that should be prompting me to go home instead of continuing to explore like this. Uh, go home and set up with what I do have. Uh, I do have a few granite cobblestone blocks. There's, a, I know, a few more close to uh, close to home. So I should probably just go, you know, start working on that. And I think I just talked myself into doing so uh, because we're going to head back as soon as I grab all these red currents. Well, home sweet home. I also gathered a few things as I was uh, running about. Uh, grabbed some horsetail and combined it with some of my reeds to make horsetail poultice. Uh, now I have a question. Can I... Hmm. No. Doesn't seem that I can uh, cook these inside of here, which is, which is fine. I didn't really expect that I'd be able to. Uh, that's rye grain. Do I have any more rye? I have spelt. Uh, no. No more rye. Now that I'm back at base, now that I'm here, actually, let's... Ooh! Nope! Get out of that! Oh, that just wasted some of the day. I didn't need to do that. Um. Where's the rest of my... That's really all the flax I have. I thought I had more in here somewhere. 
Huh. Well, that's, um... Unfor oh, hey, this is done. Hello. Um, I'm going to put this down here uh, because it's great for storing food. And this should act as a cellar. Yeah, give him 5.2. And if I seal up the cellar... Oh, it's uh, dark. Yeah, it goes to 1.9 is the uh, vegetable spoil rate. So much, much slower if I just seal it up so I can throw... um. Throw excess foods and things down there. Uh, and in fact, I will go ahead and move my... Uh, move my grains down to there. I don't really need to, but I'm going to. I have a bone. Okay. Um, is that... Ah, that is the same. Perfect. Alright, so we'll toss those down there. I'll do some... Some, some work. Uh, and let's actually take a look real quick. If I do bow so simple bow a crude bow is rope so it's minus five percent accuracy three pierce damage 180 durability versus a simple bow is 3.25 percent pierce damage yeah it's it's better if i had the flax twine but uh, i don't have the flax um also actually uh bow uh, i know i can do yeah, bow stays. I can do recurve. Uh, I don't have a... Ooh. I, don't... Uh, I need a long bow stave anyways to get to recurve, but... I don't have the, uh, the saw to actually process that. But... I should be able to do... Raw long bow stave. Oh, no, I still need a saw. Okay, so... Simple and crude bows is, uh, is what we're working with, apparently. Um... Great. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and get these blocks for for sifting. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and place all those up like that. And at some point I'll, I'll, I'll make a, a bowl and come sift those. I just don't have anywhere to store them right now. Alright, so I guess <laughs> get a little bit of a work to... Actually, can I... Ah, I can. So it should be that, and then there's our crude bow, and now I just gotta make arrows. So let's get uh, arrowheads. Arrowheads. I'll try and make 12 arrows, but real quick, put away this food, and maybe if I had blocks with me, I, I would seal up this thing. There we go. Put away this grain. Grain goes in here and seal her up. Uh, all right, so I've napped up the things. I've got this. Uh, we have so this is minus 0.75 percent pierce damage. Uh, break 30 percent chance on impact. So if I add this, it's minus 0.5. And as a 25, mm, so we did find those feathers in a vessel, so I'm okay with uh, with doing that. And we'll just run around with um, with six arrows for now. I think that should be uh, should be fine, right? Actually, I'm gonna save up some of my my sticks in here. Oh wait, if that was finished, yeah, those are finished as well. Um, might as well. Toss that down in. Grab these. Grab a mold. Put those there. Put the mold there. It's fine. And let's uh, let's fire these last two things that we have. Just that way they're they're done and ready for whenever I do get around to. Oh, I'm gonna need more of those sticks I just put away. All right. Eight. Yeah. Sixteen total. And then do a bit of, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that's, uh, that's all of my remaining peat. But it did burn a fair little bit quicker. There we go. Both are now firing, so I don't need to worry about that for a little bit. Let's have a little uh, schnackums. There we go. And, uh, get some poultice. Get, um... Not enough reeds left, because I made, uh, 
too much poultice. In fact, so I'm not really going to have anywhere else to to throw some things for storage for now. Uh, I do have this on my back. I suppose can go here. Um, but do I have any more? No, I don't have any more turnip seeds or anything anywhere. Uh, I just want to put away some of the stuff I'm not immediately using. So all that, uh, this flint hoe, I did remember how to place things down. It's left control and left shift together. I was only doing left control. Um, that's a problem. We'll take our bowl and we'll take our crock for if we get hungry. Perfect. Now I can do a little bit of proper hunting whilst my, my crops are maturing. And I should probably also look at making... Uh, actually, we'll head this way because there's a granite ruins. We'll go ahead and we'll break up because we can do so by hand. Oh, and that took uh, pretty much all the rest of the day. Uh, enough so that we're going to go ahead and have ourselves a little, little meal, a little snack. Pick that back up, and I got all the ruins I could see in the area, which resulted in, you know, a bunch of granite stones, but uh, almost a stack and a half of granite cobblestones, which will serve as the, uh, the, oh, there is more here, which will serve as the, the, the ringing of the perimeter of our base, which is um, pretty much what I'm going to use it for, that, and it's going to be the lower... The lower piece of our base, but, um, or I say base, it's, it's a house, come on, um, yeah, luckily you can just break these cobblestones by hand, these ones that are missing pieces all just result in, uh, one to two, uh, just stones, and the whole blocks of granite cobblestone result in, well, a granite cobblestone block, so, that's nice, um, also get a little bit of bony soil I was picking up. Uh, so, yeah, I've got a bunch of that again now, that, um, ah, I've got to do something with, um, I should take this, it, I shouldn't just leave it here, oh god dang, I don't want this heather, Can just have my granite stone blocks, please, and I guess the bony soil, because it'll be nice to pan, uh, throughout the night, so I will go ahead and do that, so uh, once we're back and I you know, get a log to actually make the bowl, but, uh, we'll do a, we'll do a bit of night panning, as it were. Okay, I panned not everything, um, but enough that I had to go out, uh, and get reeds, so I could have another chest just to store stuff, um, because I am very, very full. A silver nugget, Got uh, these copper arrowheads. Get this copper chain. Two copper spearheads, which I'm actually going to uh, utilize once I... There we go. Find my sticks for two copper spears. Lovely. Bowl. And I get two lore books. Two aged lore books. We'll read a little later once we get some... Um... Once we get a bit more, um, what you call it, under us. I thought that was a, god dang it. Put that, no, put that, no, put that, there you go. Um, that does go in there, the lore books go in there. Once we get a few more of these, because they're in sets, um, and I'm not ready to read them just yet, but we do have a bit of lore here with us, um, Seems to be some sort of diary for the dark beige and the dark gray. Lore about Jonas. Or Jonas, however you wish to pronounce that. Um, yeah, I do need a bit more food. We are a hungry, hungry boy. And there's one more serving in there. We're going to leave it in there for now. I got a rusty gear. I got a uh, bone rib cage. I got a, several bones. Um... And, uh, yeah, put our bowl there, 
This is what's left. So there's, what, five, nine pieces left? Ah, but uh, <laughs> I decided to stop while I was ahead or before I got into too big of an inventory deficit. And oh boy, were we close because there, there's more and ugh, I was just dropping it into the little puddle. Ah, but now I want to... I want to do a little bit of hunting. We have our crude bow. So I... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to switch things. Uh, we have our crude bow. Hopefully that arrow didn't break. Otherwise I'm down to five. Oop, got it. Sweet. Uh, growing onions and things. That's fine. Uh, let's actually... You know what? I said I was going to leave it. But let's fill our bowl and take it with us. And do... Just a little bit of light hunting. I saw some chickens. If I can get more feathers, I can get more uh, of these nicer arrows with only the minus 0.5 on the damage instead of minus 0.75. So the nicer ones that we're able to make air quotes right now. All right. This was the area where we were digging up the things. I saw a ton of chickens over. Oop. I thought it went down in one. I was like, there's no way. Come on. It's the black chicken right here. Oh, come on. Ugh, bad shot. The minus five accuracy is going to... Oh, oh, I got him. Yes. Might even have a bit of poultry here. That's, um... Oh, dang it, get rid of all this grass in the way. Stopping me from targeting the bad boy. There we go. Dead rooster. Yeah, a bit of poultry, some feathers. Come on. 11 feathers and 2 poultry. Beautiful. Also, I get some more bones. Bones are better for durability on my, uh, on my flint tools. So, I would be very happy to use those. Shut that stupid... Stinking rabbit first. I thought it died in the one shot, which I was surprised about. I should have known better. Uh, yeah. So I get all six arrows, though. That's... That's surprising. Oh, come on. Ah, get the arrow back. Where's the... Ah, there you are. Oh, chicken, chicken, chicken. Seriously. Whoa, that arrow went crazy far. Ah. Another arrow somewhere this way. Oh, I found it. Yes. Nice. Come here, chicken. Get back here. Oh, growing flax. Nice. Thanks for showing me some flax, bud. There we go. Gotcha. Dead hen. Ah, not all the things are going to be this easy to hunt. Uh, oh, you only gave me... I mean, that's fine. Uh, not everything will be this easy to hunt. Once I start hunting wolves and bears and things for, for the larger furs and whatnot. Also, there's more ruins here. Ooh. Potentially more blocks. Not right now, though. But, uh, yeah, once I start hunting the, the larger creatures for for their pelts and hides and things, um, it'll definitely, things will definitely be changing up. It's a deer. I heard a... Oh, baby pig. Okay. What the... Ooh, fox. Seriously. There you go. Now they're up all my... My arrows. Or whichever one survived that. I'm down to three. Oh... Nope, four. I'm down to four arrows now. Hmm. That's fine. Two after that many shots is all that went away. I will take that trade off. Give me your bones. I got a little bit of fat, which is nice. I'm going to hold on to for now. Uh, instead of turning it into a uh, oil lantern. Small hide is great. The bush meat is just good for just cooking straight over the fire. Can't be used in any recipes. The poultry. 1.4 days until it's bad. Uh, I should 
I should cook that into a meal now, maybe with some, some porridge. I have some spelt grain on me. Um, can I do a one serving of that? No. That? No, I have to. Two servings, uh, it turns into cooked poultry. So I can do one of that, but I can't combine it with the spelt grain. Um, hmm. That's unfortunate that I can't combine it with anything. But I suppose I will just cook up the, uh, the poultry. As is. Um, I don't have any more feathers, do I? No. I do have bones to stack, though. No hides. Uh, none of that shenanigans. Ooh, actually, if I do 10, there we go, 14, 11 of these left, but they used all of my sticks. And guess what? We're now out of sticks again. Don't you just love it? Also, I get 20 flax fiber, so I could make the, the simple bow, but uh, I'll stick with the crude bow for now. <laughs> um, oh, saddened. Give me, give me some logs and cook my poultry, please. Ah, but that was just a little bit of quick hunting. I'm going to start snacking on that. A little bit of quick hunting, a bit of panning, got some resources, uh, the cobblestone. And now I just need to decide where I'm going to put the house, either here or here or if I rip this out and put the house over on this side. Uh, this is just the temporary house, so I am tempted to just level this house and uh, extend this over and make maybe like a little L-shaped house like to go from over to here and then have a fenced in like yard here that leads into our uh, our garden, which I might do. Yeah, I might just build that over, extend that, and then build this over. And this will be, whatever size that is, will end up being our house. And you know what? In fact, that is what I'm going to do. Because that means I can keep my uh, my cellar down there. So, but there will be all that and plenty more to come in the next one. Because I am out of time for today. So thank you everyone who joined me. I appreciate you. And if you enjoyed it, please... Consider hitting that like button down below, subscribing, and as always, remember to stay safe out there.